Let's -a go! Okay? All right! Yeah, Peaches got it! Yippee! Here we go! What's going on? We're back for another edition of the Funtendo Market Report on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. Let's jump right into the show. The Dow Jones Industrial Average down 305.47 points. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The NASDAQ up 26.98 points. The Nikkei Exchange up 72.77 points. The S&P 500 down 7.35 points. The London FTSC indices mixed results. Okie dokie. Let's check in on gold spot prices. The gold spot market is now closed. A 30 day change of $140.30. What a nice run for the gold bulls. Silver is down five cents on the day. Let's check in on our currency exchange rates. For the week, the dollar posted gains against the Australian currency and the Zaire. The dollar lost against all other major currencies. Mamma mia! Checking in on crude oil prices. Crude oil is down 25 cents per barrel today. Let's check in on cryptocurrency. Bitcoin down 2.26% within the last 24 hours. Mama Ethereum mia. down 3.94% within the last 24 hours. Oh, whoa, 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 it was a nice two-week run for Bitcoin as prices went to all-time highs and then pulled back a little bit. Ethereum, I believe, is still at an all-time high, while Bitcoin is a few thousand below its all-time high. The fear and index greed has adjusted down from just even a week ago. It was at 92, now it's at 79. So I'm looking for investors to begin to start to put money back in as they anticipate the much awaited Bitcoin halving event. Let's jump into Mario's Let's money where we cover the top stock gainers and the top stock losers of the day. Leading the pack, Stevanto Group SPA up 9.54%. At Verum, Biotechnologies Inc. up 8.88%. Clear Secure Inc. up 8.58%. Embraer SA up 8.09%. Rounding out the top five, Maravai Life Science Holdings Inc. up 7.35%. Let's check in on the top losers of the day. Starting off, Lulumon Athletica Inc. Down 15.80%. Dino Polska SA down 11.5%. Evolution AB Public Stock down 9.81%. Griffles SA down 8.26%. And XPEG Inc. down 7.79%. Let's jump into the next segment, Peaches Paycheck. Is food eating up too much of your income? Here's what to do. Keep your costs down by limiting purchases of most inflated items like fats, oils, cereals, and bakery products. All right. Food cost trends. The most recent cycle of food volatility began shortly after the start of COVID-19 pandemic. Here In we June go. 2020, the food inflation was 4.1% up from 1.9% just three months earlier. How to keep your food costs down. While food prices may be up, here are five ways to keep your costs down. Number one, limit the most inflated items. Eggs, plus 38.1%. Fats and oils, plus 32.1%. Cereals and bakery products, up 23.7%. Processed fruits and vegetables, plus 22.9%. And poultry, plus 22.8%. Yeah, peaches, got it. And here are the five foods that have increased over the least over the same period. Fresh vegetables, plus 9.1%. Fresh fruits, plus 14.1%. Fish and seafood, plus 14.8%. Pork, plus 16.1%. Dairy products, plus 17.4%. Peachy.
Moving into the next article. Micro apartments are back after nearly a century as need for affordable housing soars. Every part of Barbara Peraza Garcia and her family's single room apartment in Seattle has a double or even triple purpose. The 180 square foot, 17 square meter room is filled with an air mattress where she, her partner, and their children ages 2 and 4 sleep. It's also where they play or watch TV. At mealtimes, it becomes their dining room. It's a tight squeeze for the family of asylum seekers from Venezuela, but at $900 a month, more than $500 less than the average studio in Seattle, the micro apartment with a bare bones bathroom and shared kitchen was just within their budget and gave them a quick exit from their previous arrangement sleeping on the floor of a church. In other consumer news, State Farm won't renew homeowners coverage for 72,000 homes and apartments in California. Insurance in California. The new policy went into effect Saturday. The insurance company cited wildfire risks and the skyrocketing costs of construction. State Farm is the largest home insurance company in the country, according to the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, with more than 78 billion direct premiums rated. Here we go. I'm joined now by Leslie Sism. She is a news editor who covers all things insurance related for the Wall Street Journal. Leslie, this is quite a story. There are thousands of wildfires throughout the state, and now people are thinking, okay, what am I going to do now for insurance? So what does this mean for current State Farm home insurance policyholders in the state of California? All right, for right now, this is a story that mostly applies to people who want to be State Farm policyholders. It's going to, you know, it's stopping um, the acceptance of new applications. It says that the current um, policyholders aren't affected by this, um, oh, right. but um, it is not committing to um, stick by those for any particular length of time. So, it, you know, we could learn a year from now or so that it's going to non-renew some of those customers. It will have a big impact in the California market because State Farm is the top seller of home policies in California. It insures about one in every five homeowners there. That's in line with its status nationally. So if you've got your top players saying they're not going to take new applications, that's definitely going to cause some stress in the market and um, agents are going to have to do a lot of scrambling to find other policies to put their customer, put, put home buyers and other customers into. Absolutely. So was this decision a long time coming or was it a reaction to last year's fire season, which again saw thousands of wildfires? In other Peaches Paycheck consumer news, over 440,000 Starbucks holiday mugs recalled for burn and cut hazards. <coughs> Nestle USA is recalling the Starbucks branded metallic mugs sold as gift sets in 2024 after 10 reported injuries from the mugs overheating and breaking. Let's jump into the next segment, Wario's Recklessness. <laughs> Shohei Otani was supposed to be the face of of the MLB. What does it mean now that he's the face of a scandal? Tonight, the biggest player in baseball. Shohei Otani at the center of a scandal. The Los Angeles Dodgers abruptly firing the star player's Japanese interpreter, Ibe Mitsuhara. Attorneys for Otani, who did not name Misahara, said their client was the victim of a massive theft, a bombshell allegation raising more questions than answers. The firing follows a report in the LA Times that says Otani's name came up during a federal investigation into a sports gambling scheme in California. A person familiar with Otani and Misuhara's interactions tells NBC News the allegations center on wire transfers of more than $4.5 million from Otani's account paid to a bookmaking operation. The source says Mizuhara told Otani's representatives that he had a large gambling debt that Otani agreed to cover. Mizuhara later admitted to ESPN that he lied about Otani's participation. The source says the wire transfers from Otani's account were sent without Otani's knowledge or authorization. I think the public is just shocked. They cannot even conceive of something like this even remotely being associated with Otani. The controversy clouding what should have been a triumphant week for Otani 
Otani, his first as a Dodger after signing a $700 million contract. Just yesterday, on opening day, Otani seen with Misuhara. He was fired soon after. Can't come. Sorry. Now, Otani has not commented. ESPN says Misuhara told them that this is all his fault, that he's ready to face the consequences. He did not respond to NBC News' attempts to reach him. Y'all know what time it is. It's Peaches Party Friday. Here we go! Peachy! Ooh. Yeah, Peachy's got it! Let's jump into the final segment, Yoshi's Yummies! Wendy's is delivering food by drone for the first time with one big catch. When you need your fast food on the fly, Wendy's customers around the country may soon be able to receive their orders via drone, thanks to a new collaboration huh? between DoorDash and Alphabet's Wing, the food delivery company announced. A pilot program rolled out Thursday in Christianburg, Virginia, has drones popping off burgers, fries, and a frosty <laughs> in 30 minutes or less. DoorDash is partnering with Wings Drones in pilot program to deliver Wendy's items in Virginia. Mm. That's going to wrap it up for today, Friday, March 22nd, 2024, where we don't act funny when it comes to the money. Take that. <laughs>